Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking a look at this, Cosmic Raspberry by Brewdog. That's right, today I'm taking a look at this. It's called Cosmic Raspberry. It's by Brewdog. It's part of their Overworks collection and I think it's a sour, but to be honest, I'm not really sure. Uh, I just saw it in the supermarket and picked it up. Yeah, Oak Aged Sour. Part of the overworks thing. Um, I don't know a great deal else about it, um, to be honest. So let's crack into it. Firstly, here is a look for you. Okay. Little bit of smoke off the bottle, but nothing big. Right. Oh, that is pink. Look at that. That looks, I mean, it looks like an alcohol pop. Let's not pretend otherwise. Not much head on that whatsoever. Very juicy looking. It smells like, I'd say it smells generic sour, if that makes sense. There's a, there's a twang to a f most sour beers I've had. Not all of them. Certainly most from the more well-known kind of sour brewers. Um, it has that kind of twang. But beyond that, it's a bit bubblegummy, bit sweet fruit, raspberry, strawberry, tiny bit of hops coming through on the nose, but it's really minimal, no malt coming through. It just smells like it's gonna be really fruity and possibly not very beer-esque. But anyway, here we go. Cheers. Good Lord, that's sour. Oh. Mmm. Probably didn't help that I'd not eaten or drank anything for a while before this, but whew, that, um, that tickles. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the best sour I've had. Um, it could be the worst sour I've had if I'm totally honest, but let's get some distinct tasting notes. A small bit of bitterness across the front of the tongue to start. That flows into a juicy, it's not a juice bomb though, it's just kind of a, a flows into a nice, um, subtle, slightly sweet, juicy number. And then this flavor really starts to amp up. You get a bit of a kind of juice bomb explosion, but it's not huge really. It's just a bit of a splash. And then as soon as you've registered it, it's taken away by a huge sour kick all over the back of the tongue. And then after that, just the finish is kind of that full fizziness, leaving you with a bit of lip puckering sourness at the end, but not a great deal more than that. Thought I had a crack in this glass, but I actually think it's just the seam. A very uniform crack if it is. I think I'm not, just, I don't think I've had it this one under these lights yet. Actually, that's probably why. Um, so it's not unenjoyable. I don't hate it. It's just it's not very beery, if I'm honest. It's just a bit of a sour alcoholic fruit drink. It's one of those that's really not balancing the beer origin particularly well. So let's take a look at the bottle. Cosmic Raspberry Oak Age Sour from Overworks. Um, it has got a load of writing on here, but it's covered up by the uh, the label itself. I don't know if you can see that. So it's a bit tricky to read. Uh, sour and beer, I'm gonna to struggle to make full sentences out of that. Uh, hops, I think that says Halatau and Taurus. Malts, Pilsner, Wheat, Munich and Oats. It says to help make our business ever more sustainable, we're adopting a new fruit sourcing initiative. This beer embraces real fruit in all its glorious imperfection. Misshapen, weird looking fruit that would otherwise go to waste because ugly fruit makes delicious beer. Brewed and bottled in the UK by Brewdog PLC, etc. And this is very interesting. The best before on this, can you read that? November 2025. That's over four years from now. That's four and a half years from now. So this suggests to me this was probably brewed on the 11th of November 2020 and it has a five year shelf life. Which is a lot longer than all of the beer, which begs a lot of questions. I'm sure the acidic content of the sourness is effectively a preservative, but it's still a little strange. There is some sediment actually stuck to the bottom of the bottle there that didn't come out with the drink. Um, I don't think this one's going to be improved somewhat by getting the dregs out of the bottle, so I'm not going to bother trying to get those 
into the glass, but it's got a bit of a yeasty thing about it as well. This one really is fine. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Let's let's have a look how much it is. Okay, it's currently in Morrison's at 250 a bottle, which is probably what I paid for it because that's where I got it from. Um I mean 250, most sours are a bit more than that. I've had some sours in that price range that are wildly better. If you want a sour at that price, it's probably not the one. That said, if you want something that's not very beer tasting, i.e. you've got a friend or partner who likes the idea of beer but doesn't really like the traditional flavours of beer, might be a good entry point, especially if they like really sour things. It's not the Again, it's not the most sour, but it is quite high on the sour scale, this one, I'd say. It's more initial sour than it is that kind of jaw-shocking bit that you get in some of the really extreme ones. This is just initially quite sour and then dies out. It's The mouthfeel, I mean, there's no head on it. It's not crazy thin, but it's not doing a lot for itself either. It's, it's just fine. To say how carbonated I thought this style would be, it's actually gone really flat. Yeah, it's absolutely okay. There's not a lot more I can say about it. It's it's literally just that very traditional sweet blend bubblegum strawberry raspberry thing that you get in a lot of sour sweets even. And it just tastes yeah, it tastes like sour sweets. Um it's not especially sweet though. There's still quite a bit of bitterness and a lot of sourness in there, which I mean it's probably got quite a lot of high sugar content, but it's not a sickly sweet beer. But then again, is it a beer at all? I'm not really sure. So that's my take on it. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.